Good morning, world. This is Dr. Rico Short, the Root Canal Specialist to the Stars, the Grace Life Teacher, the inspirational motivator for you on this wonderful Wednesday. Now let's get to the root of your problem. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about hidden figures, hidden figures. So every successful person have had a hidden figure in their life. I'm gonna tell you, they have. Every person of any success, and I'm not talking about being a multi-millionaire, I'm talking about somebody who just have lived a successful life, have had hidden figures. You may say, well, Dr. Sherwell, well, who are my hidden figures? Well, one of them could be your mother. Another one could be your father. Another one could be your aunt, your uncle, a mentor, or just somebody who just watched you from afar and said, hey, there's something special about that person and I wanna get involved. And see, oftentimes these hidden figures aren't acknowledged. Oftentimes these hidden figures don't have the spotlight. And that's okay because God didn't create everybody for the spotlight. Come on, Holy Spirit. I'm gonna repeat that. God did not create everybody for the spotlight. Sometimes some people were created to hold your ladder. It does not make them inferior to you. No, you're equal to them. They just have a different position. Likewise, in football, as we saw what happened, with UGA, thank God for the win, go dogs! Oftentimes, the linemen, the people who block, don't get the credit. The camera isn't on them. But if they're not blocking, guess what? That quarterback is gonna be in trouble. <laughs> and when that quarterback throws a touchdown, when that running back runs a touchdown, guess what happened? Oftentimes, those linemen don't get the credit because they are the hidden figures. Do you feel like that sometimes? Do you feel like you're doing all the blocking and you're not getting the credit? Do you feel like you're doing all the work at the office, but yet you're not getting the raise or the recognition? Do you feel like you're contributing much more than other people in your dental society, but yet you are being unnoticed or not even acknowledged. I know I have, but guess what role you may be playing? You may be playing that hidden figure role. Maybe you're playing the role right now to support somebody else, to give encouragement to somebody else, to hold somebody else's ladder. Because if you don't have the hum Holy Spirit is all on this. If you don't have the humility to hold somebody else's ladder, guess what? When you need somebody to hold it, nobody's gonna hold it. When you need somebody to hold your ladder, beloved, nobody's gonna hold it. That's why Jesus says the greatest of all, the GOAT, if you wanna be the GOAT, the greatest of all time, or God over all things, Jesus said the greatest of us is the one who will serve. The one will get our hands and knees dirty. The one that will get behind someone else's vision and help push it forward. Because you're not willing to get behind somebody else's vision. Don't expect somebody else to get behind yours. Who, Holy Spirit, come on now. I'm talking about hidden figures. Plenty hidden figures in my life. I can go all the way down to my grandmother, my dear, who, my grandmother, my dear, who's one of the most, who, pillars of my hidden figure. She said, you have to love everybody. And I seen her love in situations that was not lovable. I seen her love my grandfather when he was abusive. I seen her love my grandfather when he was an alcoholic and he wanted to do all kinds of crazy things to her and us. But yet she still found a way to love him because she was a hidden figure because it wasn't about her, it was about her children, it was about her grandchildren, it was about her leaving a legacy. Hallelujah, and if she can love somebody like that, <laughs> surely I can love my wife 
when things get tough. You say, Dr. Show, what do you mean? You got you got you got the storybook family, you got the storybook marriage. No, I don't. I have the same problems that other people have. It's just I handle them differently. Because God is in the middle of marriages. Oh man. If you don't have God in the middle of your marriage, man, there's no way you're gonna have a successful marriage. Sure, you may have a Hollywood type of marriage, a social media type of marriage full of fluff and fantasies and lies, but you can't have the God kind of marriage without God in the center. And just like Jesus said, if you can't serve one another, if you can't counterbalance each other. Say, Doctor, what do you mean counterbalance? What I mean by that, man, we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses. Thank God that me and my wife aren't the same in everything. Because if we do, if we were, man, we wouldn't get nothing done. We counterbalance each other. <laughs> and the only way you can do that is having communication skills that get improved daily. <laughs> We can't get better in our marriage if we don't speak to one another. We can't get better in our marriage if we don't learn how to compromise. It can't be our way or the highway all the time. Somebody got to be able to be man or woman enough just to be quiet and listen. Or even call a time out, but be willing to call a time in and talk about it later. Lord, I don't know why I'm on this marriage. So I, I guess this must be for somebody right now who's struggling and being challenged in their marriage right now. Hidden figures. And when you're going through a challenge or spot in your marriage, the worst thing to do is get advice for people who are not married. Or who only been married for a day or for a year. You have to go deeper. You have to get wisdom, get advice from people who've been married for 10, 15, 20 years and doing it God's way. And by the grace of God, I hope they tell you the truth about marriage takes work. It's just like having a front and backyard. If you don't ever cut it, guess what's going to happen? It's going to grow thorns and thistles and weeds. And not only that, you're going to have snakes in your grass that don't even know it. Ooh, come on, Holy Spirit. See, if your weeds are too tall, you can't see the snakes in your grass. And the snakes are the things that's coming to destroy your marriage. The snakes can be this guy that keeps trying to get in your DM. Oh, man. The snakes can be that young lady who's 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 trying to get in your DM, but doing it from the slide and saying that she's somebody else. Oh my God, why am I out here? I'm just, I'm just keeping it real right now. But if you maintenance your yard, if you keep your yard cut low, you keep fertilizer on it, you keep water on it, guess what? You don't have to worry about what's in somebody else's yard. And you have to worry about that that yard looks greener than mine. Why? Because your yard is green. You are satisfied and God has created us to be satisfied with one another in marriage if we're doing it his way. If we're doing it his way. If you're trying to do it the world's way, the way that's on TV, the way on social media, I'm going to tell you, man, you're going to be disappointed. You are going to be disappointed. Marriage is tough, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Man, I thank God for my wife. I would not be the man who I am today without her. I would not have nearly the amount of success without my wife. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor with the Lord. Who will want to have a good thing and find favor with the Lord? Thank you for all you women out there for what you do and put up with us guys, man. Because sometimes we just do stupid stuff. Thank you for praying for us. Thank you for holding our ladder. And I know we need to be better at holding yours. I know we need to be better at helping you release the gifts that God has in you and help us. God help us men to be able to do that for our wives and be an example for our children of what a godly marriage where they creating all this virtual stuff, man. I ain't gonna go there. But today, I just want you to thank 
for the hidden figures in your life. It could be your mom, your grandmother, your sister, your brother, your aunt, a friend, just somebody that's been encouraged you from afar on social media. I don't care. Call them or text them and say, thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for being a hidden figure in my life. I thank God for my first Sunday school teacher, Deacon Latimer, who is going on to be with the Lord. Man, because this guy would come up there on a Wednesday night, pouring down raining, and open up a small church on the corner of the road and let somebody like me glean wisdom from him. And guess what? It's because of people like him is why I am where I am today. So all the family of that young man, Deacon Latimer, that sold in my life in the 80s, man, you're seeing the fruit of that through me. And likewise, man, you are sowing seeds in other people's lives that you may not even know. You are an influencer. I don't care how many Facebook followers you have or social media followers. You are an influencer. Somebody's always watching you. Make sure they're watching something that's positive, something that's inspirational, something that's going to grow into a good thing. Love y'all, man. If you got something from this, please share it. Somebody needs to hear these words. Not me. The Holy Spirit is using me as an instrument. They need to hear these words so they can be encouraged so that they can know that they are a hidden figure and they're valuable. You're valuable. Even though you don't have the spotlight, you're valuable. And that's why I want to let you know you're valuable. You are a hidden figure in somebody's life. Grace life.